In this video, we're gonna cover the changes to dungeons, some of the new items, and the new boss. If you want to see a patch notes overview and a funny skit, check out yesterday's video. Okay, so I actually did cover a lot of the dungeon changes in yesterday's video, but it's worth a recap and to brush back over some of the stuff I missed. There's 4 new rooms, 3 rooms with fixes, but not the trap room, it was still too hard to change a number on those. Loot drops are now client side, so can't be stolen. There's a new chest for reaching S+, just ready to fill you with disappointment, and a new orange room, or trap room. I don't know what you guys call them. So first, a guide on how to do the trap room. When you walk into the room, go left and down the stairs and blow up the crypt, then pull the lever, being careful not to fall into the death mite pit. Go back and walk across the plat- Just kidding, it falls. Get epically pranked, kid. What the fuck am I even saying? The granite crushers are pretty generous on their timing, so just set off and complete the easiest parkour in the game. Take a right and get the secret chest by completing another timed parkour segment and then head up the stairs. Navigate the crushers and beware of the tripwires. The crushers here are nowhere near as generous as the ones below, so you have to be quick until you get to the segment with the broken wall. Ignore the chest as it is a trapped chest and will drop TNT from the ceiling which will promptly push you into the TNT and kill you. I do not recommend it unless you're into that type of stuff, which, I mean, you know, everyone's into something. Instead, super boom the wall behind you and carefully make your way past the first jump. Then, look in the wall for a small crack or stair block. Inside there is a lever you will need to pull, and it's on the second safe space in that corridor. Once it's pulled, do the basic parkour section and open the chest, making sure you don't miss the secret on the way out. The boss is the obvious main attraction of floor 5. Well, that is if the servers decide to work when you start the fight. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation. I call this floor 5 in uh, high pixel PowerPoint. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, look at <laughs> look at this. What way where am I looking at right now? I'm stuck inside the wall again. This guy literally jumped on me, gave me a kiss, and then went back down. His boss fight has only one phase. He creates seven clones of himself and an eighth regular version of himself, each with a different ability. For example, the red livid will lock your gaze and charge at you, the grey livid will attempt to throw his sword at you, the green livid will try to poison you and the yellow one moves weirdly and bows you, the rest of them have some special quirk but are mainly just melee and ranged weapons with some quirky effects like giving you blindness. The real livid is randomized each time so you have no way of knowing which one is real until you kill him. According to the wiki, the real livid gives out hard particles, whilst the rest just have white smoke, although from my own experience, I cannot verify this. The best strategy to defeat livid is to huddle your entire team into the corner above the portal and rain splash damage onto the clones, whilst a healer uses the healing circle and wish abilities to keep the entire team alive. This is the one time a healer is absolutely necessary ever in the history of dungeons. Finally. If you kill a clone, you'll get bullied in chat and the clone will respawn but nothing terrible happens, so just damage them all until the real one dies. Finally, some of the new items I missed in yesterday's video. I covered a lot of them yesterday, but there were some I missed, so here they are. Spirit boots now work outside of dungeons. A new enchant called Overload was added, which gives you a chance to mega crit. The Warp Tree Forge got a slight nerf, and the boss trophy heads got given stats that are doubled when you're in that floor, and the Legion Ultimate enchant got absolutely nerfed into the ground, being 10 times lower than before. That should be everything added. A relatively smaller update compared to Floor 4's release, but that's understandable as it appears the admins have kept the best content for Floor 6 and 7, which we will absolutely cover when they're out, so make sure you subscribe. And that's about it. Later ner- wait, are we supposed to be rude to our subscribers? Uh, I mean that's what the script says, it says, say later nerds.